So this is the major problem of the car belonging to the chassis. It had a uh, small damage here and it was badly repaired. So you can see it rusts here again. And uh, the, the form of this was not correct, it was rounded. But in the original case, I will show you on the other side, it's not round, it's uh, with a broken edge. So as you can see here, he rounded it. It's just round. Here we go to the other side. On the other side, you can see it had a clear broken edge. So this needs to be reworked on the other side. Remember, grinding is the most important thing when you want to paint something or brush something on a car. Because when the grinding is bad, the whole paint job will look shitty, bad, worst, whatever, later. The best thing is take your time, one day, two day, three day, don't mind the time, to do a good, decent grind job. Uh, now I will show you the repair of this um, fender, which is not uh, correctly anymore. There is a little bump here which destroyed the form. Normally it has this line here and this got lost because here is a bump and here are some small bumps as well. So I will show you how to use putty to repair this. In a professional paint shop, for example, if you're restoring an old timer or a modern new car, which is more uh, money worth, maybe they will take it out of the metal and make it in the original form by uh, taking time or exchange the part maybe as well but uh, for this car I think the most common thing will be to just repair it with putty. So if I'm going to repair such a thing I always want to find the original place first so I want to see where the original edge was Space because it's rounded so I have a little bit place to argue with here I just want to have this clear cut and here maybe I have to work a little bit round so what I did I take pretty much putty you see and I did it small in the downside very big on the top you see so we have enough material to rebuild the line so I took the paper off I put it there before you can see and we have already a good line so after the putty is dry you need to grind it but if you want to make uh, lines new like this you need to do it by hand, you cannot do it by excenter because uh, you need a straight line and uh, excenter will make it round. So use your hands, give the car a hand job like other people do in other cases and take your time. So I start with 120. Bit. from the upside 
so they need to clean it with the air. Take an air pressure gun. So, after you did it from the one side, you do it the other way around. You take putty. So after the putty dried, ah, you can test the putty with your fingers when there are really white stripes, it's dry. When you have putty which is dark yellow, you also can use the same technique when there are white stripes, it's okay. For the rounding, I use the eccenter. make roundings it's always a little bit about getting feelings so after you put the putty from the upside to the downside in the upper side you first grind down the rounding and control with your hand whether it feels round or not I have still some little uh, deeper spots here but I don't care at this car I think you will not see it after painting some of them maybe we'll get rid of when we grind the spray color later. So and now you need to find the, the, the line you needed but you need to do this again with a hand. Be careful if you grind too much the edge is gone. If you want to see the result you can make it wet in between to see where you are. First clean it. So you can see we are coming to a point where it looks good. So the rest is a job for 600 grit, wet, and doing Be careful, remember, all you take away is away and you cannot take it back instead of starting new. So, as you can see, the edge which was missing is there again. So clean everything with silicone remover. So the battery got lost, 
I'm sorry for that. So you can see. Not perfect, but for a car like this, pretty okay. 